Hello friends! This is one of my most requested videos right now and that is how to make these fluffy foaming sugar scrubs. I will show you my entire process and wait for it, will even give you my recipe. So lots of good things in this video. <laughs> if you're a soap maker then this is a product you definitely want to add to your line because it's so easy to make and sells itself so well online because it's just so delicious looking. If you're new here, welcome to my channel which is all about my soap and bath bomb business. If you're already subscribed, welcome back and now without further ado, let's get right into it. It's magical when you are close, so I'm I'm golden. We start by beginning to whip our foaming bath butter in the lowest speed setting in our KitchenAid mixer. You don't want to over whip because that may result in your sugar scrubs deflating and this isn't a myth, we actually have experienced this. We make our foaming bath butter in-house from scratch using a recipe we bought on Etsy. If you don't have the time for that, Good news, you can actually buy this bath whip base pre-made from a lot of soap suppliers. I list some of those suppliers in the description below. Next, we add some vegetable glycerin. This ingredient acts as a humectant that draws moisture to your skin. Since the foaming base is a surfactant that cleanses and then there's the sugar that exfoliates, you'll want to add moisturizing ingredients to counteract that and glycerin is a great ingredient for this. Next, we're adding some skin-loving goodies that will help retain your skin's natural moisture after a good scrub. For our recipe, we use luxurious jojoba oil and organic hemp seed oil. We love these oils because they're light and they don't clog your skin's pores. If you don't have jojoba oil or hemp seed oil lying around, you can definitely substitute these ingredients with any light oil. Some great substitutes include apricot kernel oil, argan oil, and sweet almond oil. Next, we add our organic cane sugar. We get our cane sugar from Costco. We love using organic cane sugar because it has a slightly rougher texture than white sugar, which is refined. Before we bought our 6-quart KitchenAid mixer, I used to do all this mixing by hand and oh my god guys, that was so exhausting. This mixer has been a godsend and I love that it does all the mixing for me. Today's fragrance is what we call pink grapefruit, but it's actually Windy Point Soap Supply's ruby grapefruit. I've noticed Windy Point is now selling more of their fragrance oils in these larger quantities, and I am here for it. By the way, 
Their Ruby Grapefruit fragrance is amazing. Love it. We're now going to separate the mix into two bowls since our pink grapefruit sugar scrub is pink and yellow. You'll find the texture of the whip is now light and fluffy and so creamy looking. It literally looks like buttercream icing. This texture is exactly what we're looking for. The colors I'm using is this gorgeous mauve pink mica from Windy Point and canary yellow mica from Kindora Soap Supplies. I actually bought this packet of yellow mica three years ago when I first started soaping and you can see that it's still going strong. You don't need a lot. We add color a little bit at a time until we get the color we want. For scrubs, I don't want the colors too vibrant, so we're careful about adding too much. We also notice that the scrubs actually darken and get more vibrant over time, so being light-handed with mica is what's best. Okay, how much does this look like ice cream or marshmallows or some form of delicious dessert? Ugh, sugar scrubs are so fun to make because of how yummy they look. Now we spoon the scrub into the jars. To get a layered look, we just go back and forth between the two colors until the jar is filled. We fill these 8 ounce jars with at least 6 ounces of product. To make sure we fill as much of the nooks and crannies as possible, we tap the jars gently on a towel every now and then. So it's a beautiful, sunny November, and actually the snow that fell is now melting, so that's awesome. But we're in here making sugar scrubs, and here is our resident sugar scrub expert, Kale Zimmerman. Yeah, just happy to get a little bit of a, you know, screen time. <laughs> so can you explain to us what you are doing over here? I am making the pink grapefruit sugar scrub, it and smells so I've good. divvied it up into two different bowls one to put in the pink color, one to put in the yellow, and then just kind of layering it on pink, yellow, pink. Yep. So that's why there's more in that bowl than there is in this bowl. Yeah, and it just looks so fluffy and amazing. We make all of our foaming bath butter in-house from scratch, which is what I recommend. And there are a lot of great recipes that you can find on Etsy and in Facebook groups. So if you're curious about how to do that, you can go there. Um, but you can also buy foaming bath butter base in most soap supply places. So if you are in a pinch and don't have the time, because honestly, 
even though we make it in house and it saves us a lot of money. Making it is super time consuming, so I would say it's about Kale's favorite part of the job. Would you say that? No? <laughs> yeah, favorite part of the job, yeah. It's uh it's very time consuming. So yeah. once it gets to the state though, it's so uh, it's so relieving because then you can just make this beautiful product. I finished off the scrubs by taking a metal chopstick and swirling the tops to make it look even more like a dessert. Remember, how beautiful our product looks plays a huge role in being able to sell them online, so adding this final touch makes these scrubs look so appealing in our social media. And there you have it! I hope you enjoyed this video and that it helped you please give a thumbs up if you did. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe and hit that bell icon so you never miss out. For those already subscribed, thank you guys so much. We hit over 2,000 subs. Woohoo! <laughs> Thanks so much for all of your support. Thanks for choosing to follow me on my journey. And as always, keep being awesome and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys!